have to update things for the times we are living in. So that's not changing. Mm -hmm. That is a uh, ev uh, healthy evolution. If not, it's dead. Chanel. The name itself evokes a fierce devotion in fans of luxury labels. The house was started by Gabrielle Coco Chanel in the early part of the 20th century when she pioneered many of today's clothing staples. You can thank Chanel for the use of jersey fabric in sportswear, the little black dress, and menswear for women. She was also one of the first high fashion designers to focus on the everyday style of the streets. Gone with the corsets and restrictive clothing of her generation. In their place were pants, cardigans, and relaxed suits that allowed women the same ease of dressing as men. Coco passed away in 1971, and the label lost some of its momentum. But in 1983, Karl Lagerfeld took the reins and injected the label with his own brand of wit, edginess, and sheer design genius. Today, the House of Chanel is a multi-billion dollar company and the most successful maison in French fashion. This is the house that Coco built and Lagerfeld restored. However, both share the same focus, create clothes that every modern woman will covet. Nothing is more effortlessly chic than a Chanel suit, which is why it worked just as well in the 1930s as it does in the new millennium. There is a timelessness to the styles the label has put forth, which has both mothers and daughters raiding each other's closet for the latest in Chanel luxury. Whether you're shopping on the Rue Cambon in Paris or Canal Street in New York, the double C's are an immediate indicator of this luxury brand. Iconography is an integral part of the Chanel collection and is forever incorporated and evolved season after season. Chanel was also the first brand to introduce pants for women and was a trailblazer for feminine style in the 20th century. Lagerfeld, of course, takes the sporty theme into the 21st century for women who find themselves involved in all sorts of leisure activities. If there's one label whose nationality is woven through its fabric, it's Chanel. Not only is the clothing synonymous with Parisian chic style, the house has become the French ambassador of couture. Chanel purchased six ateliers and incorporated their handcrafting skills into everything from resort to ready to wear, ensuring that the French art form will survive for years to come. Karl Lagerfeld has become so fused to the helix of the Chanel DNA that one can't imagine the brand without its Kaiser. In fact, Lagerfeld's personal way of dressing often appears on the runway. Chanel is Carl's world, and we're just living in it. While Lagerfeld himself has been around long enough to see decades of trends come and go, he is forever absorbing the latest in pop culture, informing the zeitgeist and making Chanel the harbinger of must-haves for those who have everything. Timelessness, iconography, sportif, Parisian chic, the Kaiser, pop culture, the seamless DNA of the House of Chanel. I don't know of another designer who, who's, um, you know, of another house whose clothing sort of translates to so many different um, demographics in a way. You know, so you'll find models wearing a Chanel jacket with jeans, or you'll find, you know, my grandmother loved to wear Chanel, you know. So it's, there's something special about it. That shows you that it's like timeless and, 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 and terrific, because I mean, it's like you don't have to get the, the latest thing for it to look, I mean, I think it's, you know, great. It's an investment. What I like best about Chanel today is, and what I think is the most flattering achievement in a way, that girls who are 15 wear it and women who are their grandmothers wear it too. I have friends, they have to put their Chanel jacket in safes because their little daughters want to wear them when they're on a trip. Uh, they put it in, together with this, uh, the jewelry into the safe, you see.
signatures of Chanel under Lagerfeld are the classic Chanel suit and the classic accessories, the shoes, the costume jewelry, etc., um, and the elegance of the evening wear. But the thing that's made him so successful is he's taken that DNA and he's carried it to the point where there are waiting lists for nail polish by Chanel. The camellia, the gilt chains, the quilting, the use of black and cream, the cardigan suit, all of those things appear without them looking like museum pieces, without them looking too futuristic, without them looking too radical. And you get the feeling that if Coco Chanel herself were alive right now, she'd be doing pretty much what Carl's doing. Chanel, uh, people think, did only this jacket and nothing else. This jacket she only did in 1957. But that's a symbol of Chanel. So. Out of the symbol come a lot of other things. In a way or another, she did. It was up to me to update that. Huh? So that's why I like the idea. Out of the basic symbol, the idea what people think it is, lots of other things can come.
the Chanel DNA is very much sportswear. She put women in trousers, and it was that kind of essence of empowering women and taking them out of the corsets and all of that, that it really transformed women in the 20th century that still resonates today. She was really the first designer to put women in what we now consider a contemporary wardrobe. First designer to put women in pants. Because she became a designer and really of, 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 you know, hit her stride in the 20s, the 20s was a wonderful era where women were all of a sudden smoking and drinking and uh, you know, swimming and suntanning and doing all these things that we now consider part of contemporary life.
even though Carl has a great sense of history and loves to talk about the past, he isn't in the past. And I think he's really smart. He always knows what people want now or what they'll want in six months. That's really his, you know, and I think he has, he's totally immersed in the world of Chanel. Oh, it is Carl's. Yeah. It has the name Chanel, but it has not. But he, he, he has done so much more. And I'm not, I'm, I don't want to, you know, rattle the ghosts in the cemetery. But this is his. This, this, the world of Chanel is his world. The situation at Chanel is that, that if I owned a place, I, the place I couldn't do more because I would think about budgets and things like that, I have to think about nothing. I say, I won't, like spoiled children, and I get. And they get back, you know, throw the money out of the window, it comes back through the door. If you are stingy, you get nothing.
Chanel's bigger than, uh, you know, a label. It's French culture and the best of French culture, you know, because it's the part of French culture that's so democratic if we look at the history of Coco. You know, and so Carl built that democracy. Chanel is probably the premier fashion house within Paris today simply because of the longevity of Carl and the ability to do it season after season after season. Carl Lagerfeld put on a show which really did France proud. We had the Paris Philharmonic, an extraordinary urban garden that he created in the Grand Palais. And it was really a magnificent spectacle and it made you understand how important Chanel is to French culture and to French industry, but really it's running like a seam through the French character.
think what's really amazing is that Lagerfeld has remained so contemporary, so young. Um, he's able to keep on the crest of every trend, and yet also at the same time remain faithful to the Chanel DNA, so that everything he creates for the House of Chanel is recognizably Chanel. What is so interesting to me is, yes, the history, but also how Mr. Lagerfeld has propelled French fashion into the future by his understanding of what is happening in pop culture, the importance of all levels of pop culture and how it affects fashion. 20 to 2 in the morning in the Rue de Rivoli outside this club, there's Carl chatting away to all these young Parisian kids, talking to them, taking photographs, asking them what they liked in two or three or four different languages. It was fascinating.
the DNA of Chanel, a splicing together of Coco and Carl to form the world's most coveted luxury brand. I think Coco was the first modern designer. She really was the first woman to understand how modern women then and now want to dress. And Carl has picked up her legacy and just made more of it. If there's a parallel between the two, it's, it is that curiosity for the new and that willingness to leap into that vehicle and go to the future. I think that's great. I think what's interesting is to show that a fashion label can exist for 100 years and stay trendy. That means there is something what can go with the idea of the modern woman of every decade. She could be 25, she could be 65, 45. She is dying for this stuff. And this stuff is so incredibly made, it's, it's gonna say hi to you every time you open your closet for the rest of your life.